Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, welcome back once again, of course, to another Paladins video with me playing some Shaolin today with his new Desert Silence. Weirdly enough, as some of you reminded me recently, I haven't actually covered Shaolin since 2020. My last video on him was like December, I think, 2020, somewhere around there. So it's been like nearly 10 months since I've covered him. And I think the main reason for that was just because nothing really changed with him for ages and he was a bit of a janky character to play because he caused frame rate drops and stuff like that. But they've actually buffed him in this update. They pulled some of the cooldowns down and then they also completely changed Desert Silence from what it was before or buffed it as far as i could tell making shaolin overall a little bit better which is a great excuse for a video it will now reduce the cooldown of your right click and also silence whilst slowing for 15 percent for two seconds instead of just the cripple I feel like he's very old style paladin so i'd say he's one of the less popular characters but he has been getting up there a little bit in this update i've been seeing quite a bit more my loadouts for him are different from last time so we'll go through them kind of quickly they are pretty standard so we've got cooldown reduction on the right click reset movement speed bit of extra speed when we're using our weapon and a bit of reset on the f very very standard but the other version of it is what we're going to be running with today because it focuses on the right click then a bit of cooldown off the f a bit of extra health instead of the speed because we're hopefully going to be dueling a little bit more because of the silence and the slow we don't need the speed as much but maybe i'll make a variant of it as well with this real quick so i guess i'll run this variant of it as well with the speed but not the reset i don't think you really need the reset as much with this because you've got a four or five second cooldown on your right click anyway let alone if you grab chronos the speed is really useful on Shaolin, so i think this might be a better option still good to have this in case we don't need the speed at all but really though when I think about it it is just this setup but with balls I pulled down by two and quicksand up by two so don't really necessarily need it but yeah we're gonna run it anyway go for desert silence hopefully do well but I haven't played Charlie in the while so I might be a little bit rusty and also before the intro finishes here's a quick code whoever grabs it congratulations there's a free battle pass fear shout out to even mojo for the code that's the last one I think I've got for this update yeah as always thank you for watching my stuff i really do appreciate you if you want to use code frost in the epic store you can let's just jump into game one i missed a couple of videos recently so hopefully i have a string of videos daily for a little while if i can keep it up but yeah we'll see let's jump into game one play some shaolin i'm actually kind of excited for this so performance rise for game one we got nando with talus of rain and willow shout outs to that is uh talus for some reason i couldn't see him then we're up against akana tiberius of willow avora and a damper judging from that comment you should be watching this video and you'll know that i don't usually reply if i'm recording stuff so i'll tip my imaginary hat to you i appreciate the support of course let's see how we do i don't really know how shaolin interacts with vora but i imagine we're a counter because i know when i play vora shaolin's a bit of a pain i think recurve and sand trap will still be very very popular but i think desert science actually has a place now because i think it's going to be a really really hard counter to a lot of setups i don't know if it'll be better than these two but it should be much closer which is what they were going for we we'll go for the speed and the right click to start yeah sure so as you can see the cooldown there is five and a half it feels like we'll go for quarter rise and nimble to start I feel like nimble on shaolin is great for the talents we've got aegis inner strength scorn extension scorn unyielding pressure spirits chosen tokens fury and storm of bullets khan can be a bit of a pain against shaolin but we don't get countered too bad we'll fire the shot really early that's a shot on the vora nearly hit the second one there cheeky little 900 nice i'm nearly dead we hit the vora again we'll fire one over there at the khan which i missed that would have probably gotten us the kill because we can deny his q we're gonna sit here in the invis shot on the tiberius there's the q there's a kill okay that actually kind of worked we'll f back play kind of aggressively push up hello vora there's the shot with the silence there's another tap and oh, there's the right click load up the right click shot on the khan we can't you know stop him from putting the shield up that was not a proper sentence we're gonna f over this way shoot him as well there's the q that should be a free double i feel like this is actually gonna be really solid in like onslaughts and stuff seems like the team's pushing up so i guess i'm objective boy shaolin nando's on the right side here willow and talus were on left but talus died i'm just honestly waiting here with a shot loaded up because i'm expecting somebody to go up the elevator but i guess not we're just getting free credits shot there on the khan there's the q we can't pull up the shield that's just honestly brutal i didn't think how much we'd counter khan but obviously we just shut him down there's a shot on tiberius i am missing recurve a little bit because i'm definitely used to the extra like pull speed or whatever the word would be i died that tiberius that was a really damn death we'll grab more quarter rise keep it going for whatever reason i wasn't expecting to notice this as much as i am we got rid of the vora we actually did just completely shredded the willow but obviously the science just makes a huge difference because you're stopping somebody from using their abilities for like two whole seconds we're gonna f back in the corner i don't know how he didn't see where i went there there's a shot for him and a finish oh my god i could have had that dead to tiberius i really shouldn't play the top part as much because they're just running up there over and over again but it seems like they die whenever they kill me because my team's there too honestly i don't feel like it even needs the slow it's really nice that it has it and it's kind of the same thing with the cooldown reduction on the right click really the cooldown reduction is probably noticeable more than the slow but the slow just makes things a little bit easier to finish people off and makes the right click one hell of a strong ability we just hit the tiberius is he going to die to tick damage he is don't know if uh, science made a difference there there's willow just blasting there's a hit for it's obviously cc immune but it's the finish nice we're going to
going to F back. We've got the right click up already without resetting the setup. We're going to go at like level one. If we had more reset in the setup, that would be even easier to get the right click off. We're going to jump up the top, try and hit over the shield. Didn't work. There's another hit on him. There's one more. We're going to go through the shield or kill him, I guess. We'll see whatever we get first. I tried to hit the Tiberius. Is he going over right side for ulted? We're going to hit the Willow. F back. I think I'm dead. There's the shot and the Q. Oh my god, we should have had that. I did fire two arrows. I think I missed by a little bit. Thought Danbo was up top. Nope, it's Tiberius. We're going to drop down. We're going to play on the bottom a bit. He did the same thing. There's a silence on the car. There's a hit. We're going to F back. This way, that was very predictable. He tried to get on as well. We're going to load up the right click, fire it at him, and finish him off. He put up the shield just in time. He does have resilience, so that is obviously a counter to this. Don't know why I haven't brought that up yet. I guess it is kind of obvious, though. Resilience does counter the crap out of this, but not everybody's going to grab resilience, I think, for just a Shaolin silence. There goes the Khan. We're going to F over this way. Tiberius ulti, but that is a team wipe except for the Vora. Get a silence. There's the Q. He obviously has resilience to the point where he kind of counters us whenever we're trying to do that on him. But can we fire over? Yes, we can. We'll F back indoors. There's a shot. There's another one. I'm dead for sure. That Tiberius is actually going after me I feel like a little bit. I guess we'll go for Haven. I feel like it's an item that everybody picks up these days as it is just general damage reduction. A great one to pick up in literally any situation. We'll fire. There we go. Cheeky little K. He's going to go for the ult. I have the right click load of that, but I'm 100% dead here. Maybe we can F out of it, but... Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Do feel kind of helpless whenever I'm grabbed by Khan. I'd love if there was like a kind of PS1, PS2 style mechanic for like a boss fight or something where you could mash buttons to get out of it a bit faster. I don't know if that reference made any sense. We're gonna fire the silence there, but that didn't do anything. We'll fire there. Go for the ult. Missed the shot entirely. Wait for him to pull the shield, but he didn't. There's a shot on the Willow. Shot on the Khan. I'm dead to Vora. Okay, I took way more from the Willow than I thought I did. Could get Wrecker, maybe Veteran, but I don't think Veteran's gonna make that much of a difference. I don't know if I've actually ever picked up the new Veteran in a video. I should when I'm playing like a tank. It is good in some situations, but for some reason I just keep forgetting it's the new thing there it goes the Vora missed the first shot, but handed the second one. Went ahead and finished off a Haven. Score is 342 310. This honestly could still be their game. Tiles has got his little mark here. We're going to push on the left side, load up the right click silence there for the Tiberius. The damage reduction does kind of screw us over. We're going to F back a bit, time it there. Is she going to push in? There's a silence shot which didn't go out. She's going left side. Willow's there too. Okay, shouts rate for heals. I appreciate that. Shot on the Vora. Completely missed it. Shot on. Khan missed that one too. There's a tap on him. Ray's kind of behind. We'll go into a Q, finish him off. And I might have had his Q. We're going to F back over this way we've got the ult off in a sec there's getting some good right clicks by the rakes i think she's buffing it out shot for the tiberius shot for the willow can we finish her off yes we can there's a shot for the khan there's a silence for the khan never mind i think he's dead here anyway it doesn't really matter right yeah there we go tiberius is just over there there's a silence shot for him missed it can we maybe get a cheeky angle i guess not if we can just hold them off though i think we've got the win there's a dismount for the wither i thought i had damber on left we are right at the end here those scoreways trying to get some cheeky shots and there is the victory. I think we deserve the win. We put up a really good fight for the point there. It was actually a really solid onslaught for like a 1 or 2 a.m. game. We did pretty good. 14, 9, 78k. I'm happy with that. Highest damage by just a little bit. I could have done way better, but I didn't do a bad job there at all. The setup actually worked pretty well. Talos did a great job. Our Ray did solid. Our Willow played a little bit weird, but didn't do bad. That Nando did pretty standard there for Nando. Khan on this, I was pretty good. Danbo did a really solid job. I barely even saw him in that one there. Willow didn't do particularly well. The Tiberius surprisingly has a worse start than I thought, and their Vora was actually doing the best there, even though her stats kind of average. We'll Riku, jump into a second one. I feel like I did the whole thing there in one breath, but the setup did work really well. I did kind of miss Recurve because I am used to that extra charge rate for the bow, but I feel like the trade-off isn't that bad. I don't know if I prefer it to Sand Trap. It feels very similar to Sand Trap. It just feels like instead of buffing your side of it, you're nerfing the enemy side of what's coming at you, if that makes any sense. I do feel like it could do with being a little bit better, maybe 25% on the slow, but it now is comparable for sure to Recurve and Sand Trap. I don't know if I'd say it achieves anything different than it did before. It just achieves it in a better way but we'll go for desert science and we'll go for i guess the other version of the setup without the speed because this map is kind of small but maybe i should still go for it. i don't know we'll grab quarter rise discovery cardio fuselard enveloping shadows we don't have a healer we'll go for life rip and then then we're up against aegis smolder mortal reach unyielding pressure and precision get some little shots onto his shield we're gonna f over this way hit the vora just miss the vora taps into it okay i'm probably dead here there's a hit onto the nando miss that shot i don't know how i'm not dead yet hit into the zin there's a shot for the zin sure is it gonna walk around this way no f back over here hello nando there's the silence there's the kill i feel like he probably would have saved himself there if he didn't have the silence on him there's a hit for nobody that was really bad we're just going to go for more life because i don't really have much quarter rise except for like the nando missed the Ceres there but maybe still get rid of her if we push in there we go i feel like i'm missing all my shots in this one don't know why i'm being so inaccurate hit the silence but then couldn't finish her never mind somebody else did the shot on the nando f over this way there's another tap on him but i think that's a Fatu ult, maybe? I will say I feel really, really slow in this one. Kind of wish I went for the speed instead. There's a shot and the Q. That's a finish. And I, she was very clearly trying to F away there. We'll go on. Sarah's finish her off. I thought I heard stuff going on. There's a hit that I missed. We're going to go for the ult. Hit the Vora. Hit the Vora. Never mind. She's going for her ult. We'll F. Try to get a silence on the Zin. There's a hit on the Nando and the Q. He's pulling up the shield there. Maybe somebody can get rid of him from behind. That's a Leanne. There's a silence and another hit. I think she was trying to use her Q there. There's not a finish. I'm dead to Zin. See how useful the silence is, though. I feel like in a lot of these fights, I'm really shutting people down, but sadly, 
sadly I can't actually finish the job because I'm missing my hits. Went ahead and finished off life rip. Got a little bit of an input too because I do feel very, very slow. We're going to just fire on people from the top. Silence on the Sin. Not a Zin. That's a Leanne. Not a Leanne. It's a Ceres, but she's dead. We'll see if we can get the silence on him. Nope. I'm just missing everything today. There's a hit. 300 heals. Pretty beefy. Oh, I'm totally dead here. Right. Never mind. We've got a pretty big heal. There's the silence and the finish. Beautiful. We'll F back. Hit on him again. Life rip really is saving my ass here. Who's going to pull down the shield? We are literally like two damage off of finishing. Ceres went for the ult. There's a silence, which I missed. A couple hits over there. I'm going to F back. Pull on left side. I don't know if they saw where I went. I guess not. We're fine. Hit on nobody. That could have been a kill. Another hit. Just like missing her by like an inch. That one landed there. There's another one. We're going to F down a bit. Never mind. I'm just dead. I can safely say we're getting somewhat shredded in this one. Silence for the Zin. Missed the shot. Again by like an inch. Hit on the the end. Just going to ignore the Nando. Run around the side. Silence for the Ceres. There's the Q. Can we finish her? Yes, we can. Silence really shutting down that Ceres. There goes the Vora. Oh my god, you're literally two health. Okay, thank you. Landed it. Hello, Nando. There's a Q. I feel like I should have got that. I feel like it even made the sound effect. I guess it didn't go on cooldown, but there goes the Zin. <laughs> There's a shot onto the Leanne. She's very low. Missed that one. We're going to F in aggressively. Silence the Leanne. Get rid of the Ceres. I guess we're recovering this now for some unknown reason. She's going into her Q, but she's dead. We're going to wait here at their spawn door. Maybe catch somebody off guard. Fire the shot kind of early. Okay, missed it. God damn it. There's a shot on the Ceres. There's a shot on the Zin. I'm actually landing some of these now silence and the q okay we finished there's the f oh, i'm totally dead to nando just hit ultimate fat fingered it but it doesn't matter it didn't go off we're fine we'll get and it will finish to get cauterized going get a bit of haven too didn't buy that didn't double tap it we'll f in we'll get a shot on the end who i thought was on top never mind missed the Ceres. there's some hits into it can we finish her yes we can i'm getting altered by the zin we definitely could still win this one we're only behind by 100 but i don't think we're going to to be completely honest we're gonna f in shot the zin there's the q oh my god i feel like i could have had that i don't know why it didn't give me the shot there i guess i was off by just a little bit we'll load the right click up again just gonna wait for him to pull the shield down there's a silence on him not that it really does very much but we'll go ahead and pop the all get a hit on him get a silence there get shot on the Ceres to finish if I can just land it thank you very much I'm gonna pull away here gonna F back get another hit on him trying to get a shot while the cauterizer is down there's the Q he is not out but Leanne's on me there is a silence to finish can we get the Nado 2 yes we can Forrest on top shot the Zim which I missed I kind of deserve to die here again there we go finally bought cauterizer I had to do that like three times for whatever reason but yeah Zim definitely is gonna do better than a shot then even if I'm landing my shots I feel like I'm at a pretty big disadvantage we're gonna land a shot on him there go into the Q can we finish him off yes we can shout Lex for the help there but 382 250 we did recover it a bit but yeah we definitely deserve the loss here i think if we had a better team comp as as actual players would be fine there's a science on and i know he does have a bunch of resilience but still was enough to get rid of him there goes the four i don't have my q trying to use the f getting out of the q but i'm dead drogo's for some reason is trying to punch the zin instead of just hitting the leon who's right there but there is the defeat again we actually started to put up some sort of fight towards the middle but then it dipped off again although somehow i did better in that one 14 763k i'm quite happy with how we did still feel like i actually showed off better in the second one even though i feel like i kind of missed more shots for the rest of them on our side they all had a bit of a hard time although the victor does have a little bit more damage than the rest on their side their forward did okay the zin definitely did the best 20 to 451k Ceres was doing a great job and Ando was doing a solid and the end was just kind of there but yeah there we go that was sure then with the new kind of desert silence and a build that i haven't shown you before three different builds which are a little bit different than they were last time but i do feel like desert silence is a solid option those were my first two games with it and i think it is a nice countermeasure for some setups i don't know if i'd take it most of the time of a recover or sand trap but every now and again if you want to screw somebody over silence and return you to right click a bunch then it can be a nice option it might feel like you're not doing as much because you're not really buffing yourself out you're kind of nerfing what the enemy can do but it is nice it does make your shots a little bit easier to land especially when you know people aren't spamming abilities at your face i feel like it achieves what it was trying to do and i think the buffs to charlin are solid i didn't really notice the frame rate dips at all when i was playing so maybe they fixed that too i'm not sure those of you guys that play a ton of him let me know thank you for watching leave a like if you enjoyed of course let me know what you want to see me the next i'll see you guys all really really soon and as always stay frost though